what's up y'all i'm khadija nicole and welcome back to my channel i know it's been a minute i feel like ever since i moved i just haven't been filming almost haven't really had the motivation to film but here i am today or should i say tonight and i'm gonna be doing my hair i want to share with you guys um some products i kind of already tried them but we're gonna be trying them again in a different way because the first way i tried trash so i'm gonna try it a different way right now i'm getting ready to decondition i've already shampooed my hair and i need to go ahead and start deep conditioning because my hair is gonna dry up so i got some warm water in here to replenish my hair if it begins to dry up it's already dripping down my neck and everything y'all but anyways let's get into deep conditioning so today i'm going to be using some deep conditioner from alake naturals and i've already been using this deep conditioner a few times now and i really like it y'all so it is the honey and sage deep conditioner and it looks like this pretty sure y'all heard about it like alake naturals has been around this is probably like the first product i've tried from alake naturals i really like this and i was thinking that this container wasn't gonna last me but it's been lasting i've used it probably three times now and i still have a lot of product left it looks like peanut butter and it smells so good y'all just it smells just so natural Oh, it just smells so good but like i was saying this container it looks small it is an eight ounce container but it does last as you guys have heard i've used it probably three times and i still have a good amount left now actually some of the standout ingredients on this product is honey which it says it is a humectant as we know so it you know brings a moisture to your hair babasu oil this word is always crazy to me i used to say this with another product from Mayel Organics, I think. They have Babasu oil in their deep conditioner as well. So it says, Babasu oil penetrates hair to diminish dryness and itchy scalp. And the last ingredient they have, well not the last, but like another standout ingredient is sage. And it says it increases scalp circulation and skin renewal. So let's get into it. Um, my hair is just in halves and I'm gonna take it down and break it into even smaller probably do four sections i should have do the other side first because y'all i don't know what it is like i'm kind of um what's the word i forgot the word but you know you have to like do some um, routine and you can't do it differently that's how i am when it comes to doing the size of my hair i gotta start with this side first so <laughs> i'm gonna split this in half and begin applying the deep conditioner so my hair isn't completely dried up, but I'm gonna just spray a little bit more water. I feel like my new setup right here looks pretty nice. I just need like a plant or something over here. I'm definitely gonna be looking for that. But anyway, so let's go ahead and get into the product. I'll show y'all what it looks like. Hopefully it don't slip off my fingers. Like definitely a little bit goes a long way. I feel like that already got over a lot of my strands. I'm gonna apply a little bit more and then I'm probably gonna be good with this section. Sometimes with deep conditioners, I feel like it's just sitting on my hair, but this is one deep conditioner I definitely feel like actually penetrates my strands because it's not like super heavy. So, you know, I feel like it's actually <laughs> get into my strands. I'm gonna get some more up here. Actually, you need to put some at the bottom because you know the ends are the oldest and they can be the driest. And this section should be good. This deep conditioner just glides on so nice. And I'm gonna just do the same thing for the rest of my hair. And we're gonna go in with our deep conditioner. And apply a little bit more for them ends. So now that this side is done, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this back up and do the other side. And I'm definitely gonna be deep conditioning with some heat. I was thinking about using my uh my steamer, but I don't feel like getting it out. <laughs> so. I'm gonna use my little heating cap that I always use once I'm done applying my product. So I'm about to finish up this last 
section. Y'all really feel like I haven't did my hair on camera in forever. It's been a minute. I've been neglecting my hair, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie. I've really been neglecting it. Let me know in the comments, have any of y'all used the um, Honey and Sage deep conditioner? I also feel like my hair needs a good protein treatment. I don't think I've done one and I think it needs it. So as I said, I'm about to let this marinate. I'm gonna put my shower cap on. Ooh, hope it fits. Y'all like my hair is so long now, like regular stuff just don't fit it. Like I need a jumbo shower cap. That bit burly on there. I look like a space alien or something. Got me peace. <laughs> no way it would be like this. Y'all can't do it. Oh wait, here we go. Anyways, I'm about to go heat up my little wrap here. I'm gonna leave this on for like 30 minutes. Y'all know me, if I get lazy, it's gonna be on there longer, more like 45 to an hour. But I will be back and I'll be rinsing this out and following up with some products that I told y'all I tried before and I really didn't like how, you know, it worked previously i did a wash and go so today i'm gonna be doing a twist out i think these products might work better that way so we're gonna see but anyways i'll be back so my hair has been completely rinsed now i rinsed out all of the deep conditioner and i've been sitting with this t-shirt on my head for like 20 30 minutes to soak up some of the water let me take this down because i look crazy oh my hair still smells so good i can smell it and it's definitely soft, nice and moisturized. So as I said, I'm gonna be doing a twist out today. Now these products I have tried before, um, but as I said, I use it as a wash and go and I didn't like them for that. So I'm gonna try them out as a twist out today. And they are the Not Your Mother Curl Talk. This one here is the Defining Cream. And then this one here is the Sculpting Gel. Y'all know how these gels be, and this wasn't it. So I wanna see how it's gonna look for a twist out. So I actually kinda want my parts for my twist out to be kinda neat, cause I think I'ma leave them in like a whole day, my twist, and then I'ma take them out. So I need to get a comb so I make sure I part it good. So I hope I got it pretty straight across the back. All right, so I'm gonna split this in half, which will be two twists. And I'm gonna be starting with the defining cream. Now this cream, let's talk about it. It looks like lotion. Um, it has a very like medium type of consistency and it does feel like it would have hold to it, but yeah, it's giving like a lotion look to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this all over the section. And it's going on my hair very nicely. Now that I have all of the defining cream on, I'm gonna follow up with the sculpting gel. And this gel says it's supposed to be a frizz control, um, anti-frizz and flexible for a flake-free firm hold. And the hold it has is a level three and it says it's for all curl types. <clears throat> I don't know about that, but this is what the gel looks like. It's definitely not like eco or wet line. Um, the hold doesn't even really feel like much. So it probably will work good for a twist out. And just to make sure it's nice and smooth, I'm gonna brush through it with my brush. Now this section feels nice and moisturized. I'm about to go ahead and start twisting. And I usually twist like toward me so the pieces are going like around, as you guys can see. It takes me so long to twist now because my hair is so long. I think that's why I've kind of steered away from doing twist outs. But yeah, I'm just gonna twist this all the way and be doing the same thing for the rest of my head. Please don't take me too long. It's already like 1.30 in the morning. And on the end, you know, we like to twist it real good to lock it in. So I put a little bit more product on it. 
and then just do this twisty motion. It should be good. So I finally finished installing all of my twist. Y'all, I'm so tired. It's like damn near four in the morning. I'm finna go to bed. I'm finna put my big bonnet on, protect my twist nicely, and go to sleep. I'm gonna leave them in for a long time tomorrow. I might leave them in to the, mm, nah, I'll probably take them out tomorrow, but I'm gonna leave them in for a while. And then I'll share with you guys the results. This is what my twists are looking like. They look real nice and juicy and moisturized. So I think these products might do pretty good as a twist out, but we just gonna have to see. I know the shrinkage be real cause my twists are honestly like long. But anyways, I'm finna go to bed. I catch y'all tomorrow when I'm going to take them down. So we're back in, I've had these twists in for like two days now because yesterday I left them in and it's now like eight o'clock the day after that. So these have been in for like two days and it's time to take them down. I'm gonna be using some of uh, Groganics ice oil, just, you know, an oil to use. This is one that I have on hand. So starting with the back, start with these. And I think I need a hair clip because the twist be getting in the way. So I've taken all of the twist out and the definition is Puppington. I think I found a way to use them products because for a wash and go, it was not good. But this twist out is good. Um, now it's time to separate. Just gonna try to separate it where it naturally comes apart. So I've separated, fluffed, and picked my hair out. Also went ahead and laid my edges in. This is what it's looking like. This side is giving me a little bit of frizz, probably because of the way I took it down, but yeah, it's giving me a little bit of frizz. And as I was taking it and separating the pieces, I was like, maybe I should've just left it how it was and just picked it. Cause the definition was so beautiful. And now I feel like I'm getting a little bit of frizz, but I mean, it still look good. But overall, as far as the products go, they're pretty high, you know, they, they're pretty good. Um, it ain't nothing like, ah, to rave about. They don't suck either. Like they're, they straight, like they got the job done. My hair looks cute, soft and fluffy. Gave me definition. So have you guys used either of these three products? Let me know in the comments below. How did it work out for you? Did you like it? Did you not? Let your girl know in the comments. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Help your girl out. If you haven't already, subscribe and join the team. Turn on your post notifications so you'll be instantly notified whenever I post a new video here on my channel. That's it, y'all. Your girl is out. This is.